hey what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel in case this is your first time here you're very much welcome my name is taz shiko please subscribe to my youtube channel it's free of charge so on today's video i'm going to be using this foundation this is fit me it's the mui two one and the shade i'm using is 360 mocha mocha and i'm going to review it and tell you guys is it good or is it not good but as for me it's so so nice so this is how it is like it's so thick that it can't even pour so i had to go in with this brush the back side of it and then dipped it in and now i'm applying it on my face so on this side i'm going to be using a beauty blender to blend in that foundation so this is me blending in that foundation and let me tell you guys like this foundation has a very very nice coverage like see this is just the first layer like just the first deep and it's like this you can see like it's covering my dark spots like i have a lot of dark spots and it's actually covering them up wow this foundation is just nice so i'm going now to again have another dip and see if i can be able to cover all those dark spots because i have very very visible dark spots so i'm just trying to see if i can be able to cover them up and i'm pushing the product in as you can see So far, so far I can say that the coverage is really, really nice. Um, I'm loving it. Like it has been able to cover my dark spots. You can see, like it has been able to cover my dark spots. And I love that. So on this other side, I'm going to be using this foundation brush and see how the coverage will be when I'm using a foundation brush. And tell me, guys, would you rather use a foundation brush or a beauty blender? Tell me on the comment section, which one do you prefer? So I'm just going to be using this uh, foundation brush. As you can see, this side, uh, my texture is very, very visible. Like I have texture. One thing with makeup, it's very hard to hide a texture compared to hiding dark spots. Like it's so easy to hide dark spots. But with texture, in, at times it's not like so easy to hide texture. So far, this is what we have. I must admit that this foundation has a really, really nice coverage. And it's not as shiny as the NYX one was. Like, this foundation really, really looks nice. I'm loving it. So, I went in and just did the foundation on my full face. And right now, I'm highlighting and I'm using a legal pro concealer to highlight. And after that, it's now time to blend in. So for blending in, I don't drag my beauty blender. So I just push in the product, like dab, dab, and not drag my beauty blender. One thing that I noticed is after highlighting, like this makeup is giving me flashbacks. I know you can see that. Like it has flashbacks. So to set, I'm going to be using this Revlon. And this is a technique that I use. Like I dab on the back of my hand to remove the excess and then go in. That remaining powder on my beauty blender and set all the highlighted areas like everywhere where I highlighted using a concealer. I'm going in setting that area. 
and still i have visible flashbacks but right now they are a bit minimized compared to when i had not set so next i'm going to contour and i'm going to be using this illegal finishing powder this is the darkest uh powder from illegal like finding a contour shade for dark girls like it's a problem so i'm going to contour with that even on my nose and then after that go in with this maybelline lipstick And then after that, I'm going to create an ombre. I'm using Seductress, still from Maybelline. And after that, I'm going in with this Maybelline Long Lasting Fix to set the whole makeup. And this is how it's looking. I must say, it's looking really nice. So someone might be asking, how long does this makeup last? So with this foundation, it lasted me for five good hours. Like the makeup was still looking really nice. But after that, ah, the oil started seeping through and then the foundation is not sweat proof. So after some time, it wasn't looking that nice. Like it wasn't looking that nice. But as for the first five hours, it was looking like it's freshly done. It was looking nice. So after that, you can opt to um, touch up your face or actually just go somewhere where you know that you're just not going to last there for so long. So guys, it has been nice. Tell me something on the comment section. And until next time, bye. <laughs>